G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Super Legero. Today we have lined up a tour of the Mercedes-Benz dealership in Brisbane, the new dealership which obviously opened probably about three months ago now, courtesy of Ben's mum. Uh, she works there and it's a employee's family day as such, so I'm their nephew just so we can uh, get in. But uh, just got to go get the train in there, but we'll probably see you once we get in there. So without further ado, here we go. Saw there was the uh, Escarth Lounge heading up to their new car showroom now. Guys, what do we think of the view here? Mercedes is like prime location in Brisbane. CBD just down the road there. Um, what do we think though? Should we get used to a view like this? I mean, I definitely think a Mercedes should be in the collection at some point. Well, what car? Comment down below. I didn't mention it in the previous video, but the day I had my car accident, I was actually here at the dealership. I was picking up a Father's Day gift for my dad. Um, so. Suffice to say, it was an interesting afternoon, but we did get out of it all right. The car is in the process of getting fixed. Probably by the time this video goes up, it will be fixed. However, I have been told it's not going to be a completely red car anymore, which is a bit of a shame, but what can you do? Um, yeah. Eventually, we're going to get downstairs, get to have a look at the AMG showroom. Um, obviously, they're the high-performance sports vehicles, but we're just up here. Pretty sure there's a few AMG vehicles, so we'll try and get you a look at what's going on. So welcome to the uh, new car showroom here. My dad has a car similar to this, so this is just the base model. Mercedes, my dad's got the AMG GLA 45, so quite a bit quicker. There's some really nice cars here. Like this blue. What do you think of it? This is an E-Class. These E-Class cars, I've heard, they're extremely fast. They're very luxurious, as you can see inside. You've got the white leather interior. AMG show. We are going to be going downstairs. They do have the AMG showroom downstairs, as I'm sure you guys would have seen earlier. But for now, let's take a look around up here. A bit exclusive going up to the roof here. Cause I'm the e. Slang up bang, I just smoke motherfuckers like it ain't no thing. Look at there. GTR. GT. Do you want to believe? Guys, we got the Mercedes AMG GT. You can see they've got it surrounded by lots of racing ornaments, but the uh, pride and joy of Mercedes. <laughs> the massive spoiler on the back here. What a car. I'm trying to hook you guys up a little, maybe in a few minutes. Smoke. 
Motherfuckers like it ain't no thing, cause I'm the E. We also got the travel board there. Uh, C63S coupe. The uh, sunroof. Over here, this looks like a uh, A class. Similar to what my dad would have. This is the GLA 45, so this is exactly what my dad has. Uh, two litre turbocharged four cylinder engine. All wheel drive. It's um, insanely quick. No G Wagon, but uh, still, it's got some real meaty tyres. Right there. No, 295s. GLC 63S. Yeah, this, this car, it's like a lowered 4x4. It's a big car though. Big, powerful motor in it, convertible. Head upstairs to the vintage Mercedes. I haven't sat, I haven't sat in something this low since I was in uh, my mate's Audi R8. That's the race It's such a nice car though, like all these shifters, it's still got a boot as well, which is insane. Like, jeez, not something you get to sit in every day, that's for sure. No. I'll just be like sitting up here trying to see over the hood. <laughs> that's what it is, isn't it? Just from the perspective I had then. The Some cup holders in there. Aircon, touch screen. It's very spacious in here for such a small car. Got the big pedals down here. Why'd you have two of them? Well, we've got. We swapped to GTS. So we're getting out of one of these. Thank you so much for that. <sighs> the uh, unbelievable cockpit in here, though. Yeah. That's what this GT car sounds like. Look how low that is though, like clearance off the ground, you gotta get in over the lip. It's um quite a small car. Guys, we're back for the food vlog. We haven't had breakfast, so we're absolutely starving today. Let's get into this. So, we have arrived back. I hope you enjoyed the footage. I hope it was good enough. The lunch they put on was absolutely delicious. The food vlog. I'm sorry, guys. But, um, yeah. We'll have to get back to you on that. We don't have any updates on the car. I do apologise for that. Um, however, when this video goes live, there may be another update. Not that you guys will know that. Um... We've, oh, we're heading back home, heading out for a run with Sophie this afternoon. She's going to be the death of me, but i got to get in shape one way or another. So she's essentially forcing me to go for a run. But anyway, we'll survive. And then we have work tonight. So pretty boring evening planned. Well, the run should be fun, but the uh, work part, not so much. But um, anyway, we'll see what we can get up to and then... Uh, I'll let you guys know. Probably will end today's video. I do apologize for the audio guys, but unfortunately it's a bit windy here. Weather's a bit, uh, well, interesting to say the least. But anyway, down below, smash that subscribe button. We've got a heap of holiday content coming up for you guys, so if you don't want to miss that, get subscribed. Oh, we're gonna go to some amazing places. I hope you have a lovely weekend, enjoy your week, and uh, yeah, see you next time. Peace.